Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. This is actually going to be my first update for my Project Pan collab with my friend Shay, or Lipstick, Lashes, and Wine. This is the finished 8 by Easter, and this is my first update. We started this, I believe it was January 10th, and it's going to be going to Easter Sunday, which I believe is Sunday, April 1st, and we are updating monthly, and then we will have a finale. You guys definitely need to check Shay out. She is awesome. She posts so many different types of videos. She's been doing declutters. She does amazing empties videos. She did a really cool tutorial recently, so you guys definitely got to check her out. And I believe my friend Kaylee joined in as well, so I will link them both down below. If you guys are doing this project as well, you can leave your video link down below, and I will put it in my description box. Anyway, we chose eight products that are based around springtime and Easter, and like I said in my intro, it is not a religious project pan. It's just to pick out fun categories for springy type of items. And I'm really excited to share my progress with you. I have not finished anything up yet, but I did hit my goal on one of my items. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to talk about the product that I've hit my goal on. And I have hit pan on an eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow that I'm talking about is in my ColourPop Yes Please palette. And it is in the shade French Kiss, which I used for the category Chocolate. And I'm going to insert a picture from my intro video. And here's what we're looking like now. It's a very tiny pan, but it is pan. And I really enjoy this shade. It's a really pretty dark matte brown. I'm going to give you a little swatch of it. And I'm going to show my Yes Please palette up very close to the camera because it is currently my Project Pan Porn and I've made really good progress on it. So I don't want to spoil it for my update for my Project Pan Porn and Pan That Palette. But here's a swatch of French Kiss. I really enjoy this shadow. My goal was just to hit pan on it, but I would like to expand the pan a little bit more. Now onto the products that I'm still working on and still working on hitting my goals. I have another shadow from my Yes Please palette. So I'm going to insert a picture of the Note to Self eyeshadow from my intro video. And this is what it's looking like now. Again, I wanted to put it up very close to the camera so I don't spoil my progress too much. But I have expanded the pan slightly on this one. Not a whole lot. It's a very pigmented eyeshadow, so you honestly don't need a ton of it. But I really enjoy, enjoy this shadow. It's really great for really warm looks or even just neutral looks just to warm them up a little bit. It is a really nice formula as well. So the top one right here is Note to Self, and then this one is French Kiss, and they're really nice eyeshadows that pair really well together. And that was for the category Easter Basket, because I think that color just reminds me of a basket. And for that, I would like to expand the pan on it in the next month and just try to work on it a little bit more. And that was for the category Spring. My next item is for the category Pastel, and I chose my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula because the packaging is just kind of like fun colored, not necessarily pastel, but it's fun. So I'm going to insert a picture from my intro video. And here's what my current progress is on my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I think I've expanded the pan a little bit. This takes me ages to go through. I've had this for probably almost two years now. And I've hit pan on it, but as you can see, it's not moving too much. But I love this bronzer so much that I'm happy it's still around because honestly, I'd probably repurchase it or something very similar to it because the formula and color is so great for me. Here is a swatch of it right here. It does look like it has a little bit of a sheen on my hand. It, on camera, it does look slightly orange, but I don't think it looks orange on the skin at all, at least from my complexion. And I just really enjoy the bronzer. I would like to expand the pan more on it in the next update, of course, but I've been really enjoying it. I have been bronzing my neck up because I've been going in between shades because I've been self-tanning recently, and when it stays, I will need to bronze my neck up because that product just washes off very fast and my neck doesn't tan very well. So I've been making progress on this. I think it's getting flatter, but I don't necessarily think the pan's getting massive on this. Next is my Kat Von D eyeshadow in Thunderstruck and this is for the category Easter egg because it's really pretty and iridescent. I'm going to insert a picture of what it looked like in my intro video. And here's what it looks like now. So it looks like my pan actually got smaller but it cracked and I had to repress it. So I hit pan on when it was repressed but I'm going to insert a picture of what it looked like prior to being repressed. The product is so pigmented, you don't really need that much, and the fact that I've only hit this little baby bit of pan is kind of not motivating, but I do think I can get through it by Easter. I think I'm going to try to get through it in the next month or so. We'll see. But anyway, here is a swatch of it. It is like an iridescent kind of gold that shifts to like a light blue, but also has some pink in it. I have a very similar color in my Tarmic Believe in Yourself palette, which I will swatch on the side of this one because I have it in this video. So that's mostly why I want to use this one up. But in the next month, I would like to expand the pan on it or use it up. And then speaking of the Tarte palette, I do have an eyeshadow in Fairy, which I'm using for the category Jelly Bean because it's a really pretty purple color. And then purple reminds me of jelly beans. I'm going to insert a picture of what it looked like in my intro video. 
And here's what that fairy eyeshadow looks like now. It is that really pretty purple color. And I don't know if you can see, but there is a slight dip going on in there. I'm hoping to hit pan the next month on this one, but I think I've made some pretty good progress considering it is a bright purple color. It is so pretty and metallic. I have a swatch of it. It is this really pretty purple right here. And it's a very interesting purple. I feel like it has more like blue to it, but it also shifts. It is really pretty. And then speaking of that Tarte highlighter, so this is the Kat Von D Wonderstruck. And then the other one, I think it's right here, is that Tarte one, which I think the Tarte one's prettier because it shifts more pink, but it is a little bit less pigmented or I just got a bad <laughs> swatch of it. But they're both really pretty. I just want to use up the Kat Von D one quicker. So for the next month for this fairy eyeshadow for my Tarte palette, I do want to try to hit pan on it. I have two more products. The first one I have is my Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner, and this is a black color, which reminded me of my black bunny sparkles, so I used it for the bunny category. So here's where my eyeliner is currently at. It is super tiny right now. And I think this will be done definitely in the next month or so. It is a very black eyeliner, and I do enjoy it a lot. I actually like this more than most of the Urban Decay eyeliners. I had a Zero one that I was using in my 12 Pains of Christmas, but that one was definitely not as pigmented as this one. But here's what my progress looks like on this. I'm going to try to line it up as best as I can. So that top line is where I started and the second line is where I'm currently at. And I think I've made really good progress on it, and I think I will be able to finish this in the next couple weeks or so. And for my final product, I have my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Lipstick in the shade Rebel Rose. And here's what the color looks like. I have this for the flower category because the name is Rebel Rose. Rose is a flower. See where I'm coming from? So here is a swatch of it. When I'm not wearing lip balm at work, I'm typically wearing this color. And I think it is a fairly comfortable liquid lipstick to wear throughout the day if you don't apply it too much. And it does last for the majority of the day if I'm not eating like super greasy food. Okay think this will be done by the finale. I don't know if it'll be done the next month. I thought I was going to, but it seems like the product just keeps going and going. It does feel very empty in there, and then I'll try to rub off, like, off the wand the residual product that's been sitting on there for a while, so it's a little more sanitary. That's also one of my tips to go through liquid lipsticks because I feel like you can go through it a little bit faster because it's not old products sitting on the wand constantly. I've been enjoying it. I do have other liquid lipsticks that I like better. I actually bought the Stila Stale Day Liquid Lipstick in Baki. I don't know, it's spelled B-A-C-I. So I'd really like to get into the Stila one right after I finish this one. I've worn the Stila one a couple times, but I really want to try to finish this up first. So guys, that was all my products for my Finish 8 by Easter Project Pan collab with Shea. You guys definitely need to check her out. And like I said, please leave me your video links down below of this project and I would love to post them in my description box so you guys can get some more exposure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you join in and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.